Hello Ryan here for Horizon Productions. We've had a video request for 3S Max, which is a table breaking in half or cracking from some sort of weight hitting it. Uh, I've managed to get around to doing spoil, so here's what it looked like. That kind of thing. So you can download the table from the link to the right hand side of the video, or you can make your own. It's probably easier to download it because you're doing exactly the same as me. And you can follow it easy. Uh, this, this tutorial is kind of pretty basic, uh, but it goes through reactor stuff, which is quite useful for. You can go on and do lots of different stuff with that, and it goes through some modeling y stuff, basic cutting of and detaching, slicing. So it can be used for anything, it doesn't have to be used for breaking a table, but it's quite useful for anything you really do to do with breaking part or simulating stuff. So first of all, in our uh, 3ds Max, you open up your table that you downloaded or made, uh, right click on the table, click convert to editable mesh, and click on the vertex on the right hand side, which will bring up our vertices, show your vertices, and scroll down to edit geometry, click on plane, slice plane, this will bring up a yellowish uh, plane, and hit E on the keyboard to bring up the rotation tool, and rotate in the front view so it's vertical, and then click slice which is next to slice plane, and you can see this creates more vertices wherever the uh, plane is. So then want to on our W to uh, bring up the move tool, drag in our top view along the x-axis and hit a slice. The smaller gap you do the better, it will create a more jaggedy edge, more realistic. So just keep on going as many times as you like. Just do the other side as well. And you could leave it at that or you can rotate it um, along the y-axis at the top. So it's horizontal in the top view. And then W and keep on doing dragging up, slice, dragging up, slice. And then click slice plane to deselect the plane. In our perspective view, if you hit F9, you can have a render so you can see it hasn't actually done anything physically even though it looks really random. So now I want to select our vertices we want to cut or where, it, where you want it to break. So in the square view, square box at the top with dotted uh, dots around them, click, click and hold on that and go on the curvy shape second from bottom. And this is basically a free uh, select tool so you can drag anywhere. If you zoom in, starting at the top of the table, click and then drag randomly, jaggedy, all the way till you get to the bottom, and then drag all the way around the edge, and then back to the start. And once you get something decent, you can click on the right hand side uh, under edit geometry, detach, and then OK. And then going back to our rectangular selection tool. At the top of the editable mesh uh, toolbar, click vertex to deselect it so now you can select other things. Select the right hand side of the table and drag it out. You can zoom in on the perspective view, hit F9 again, you can see it's randomly uh, cracked the middle or broken it so you get a random effect. And Control Z, hit F9 again, you can see it hasn't done anything if you put them perfectly together. I want to simulate something dropping on it, so in our geometry toolbar, select plane and then click and drag, make it so the table is around right in the middle of the plane, and then create a box or whatever we want to hit our table, and then drag it upwards in our front view. I want to assign a 
assign these objects to the re uh, reactor. So if you haven't got the reactor toolbar, click customize at the top, show UI and show floating toolbars. This brings up all our toolbars. And then we only want the reactor one, which is this one, so we just uh, close all the rest of them. And then drag that one to the top. So it's now part of our uh, whole toolbar arrangement. Then click on create rig rigid body collection and click anywhere. Doesn't matter where it is. And then now modify tab, click add. And whilst holding control, click on all of our objects, but not the RB collection. So now they're all part of our scheme. Now I want to assign properties to more. So click on open property editor, which is on the right hand, right -hand side of the toolbar. And while selecting our plane, click inactive and concave mesh and while selecting our box any plane by way any plane you ever do has to be concave mesh otherwise it can't do anything but uh, that's probably the only thing that needs to be in our box we want the mass to be 10 because it needs to be falling and mesh convex hole and while selecting our table pieces mass of 2 plasticity 0 and back to our box elasticity zero. You want to preview that. That looks quite good. To see what it looks like, so we can change it later. So you look on the preview button on the right hand side. Let's bring up this tool, uh, this uh, window. Hit P to play. You see it does nothing for some reason. I'll have a look. Uh, I think I'm yielding accidentally, so don't do that. So I go preview again. And it that's a common um, thing that happens, it just falls through, through the floor. So what I want to do is while selecting our tail pieces, drag slightly up so it's not actually touching the floor. So that should work now. So that's better, but still not perfect. So we go back into our hail pieces and then select inactive, which would eventually make it much better. So just going through the process of making it better and um, learning how to, learning what makes it better, increasing different uh, values. So friction, I want to go up a little bit. Doesn't, it skids a little bit too much. So then preview again. P. So that's pretty good. So if you once you like the one you got, to the right side of the preview animation, click create animation, and then OK. And then that'll then be part of our actual render. So then rendering that. Okay. You can see it quick, quite quick because it's not anything too detailed. So that's pretty good. So it's just going through. Looks pretty decent. Uh, quite an easy way of doing doing it. There's probably different ways of doing it, but I find that quite simple. So you don't have to just use a table breaking. You can do anything. There's two basic things to learn from that reactor, uh, there's loads of different things on our channel, there's our actual reactor uh, tool, uh, tutorial that you can use which is all about reactor and how to use it and different things you can do and ta uh, the table breaking is quite a useful thing for any any uh, mesh uh, you do so if you have any tutorial requests, email us, our emails on the channel, or comment on our channel, or comment on this video. Uh, Ryan for Horizon Productions, thank you for watching.